Okay, so the wife gave me kind of an interesting task of identifying what that might be. If there's medicine to help fix it. What do y'all think that is? I'm going to look it up and see if I can figure it out. Then I have one more plan I want to look at real quick. Okay, then we also have something going on right here. What do you think that is? Looks like it might be eggs. Well, there's ants on it. So whatever it is, the ants like. It also kind of looks like a interesting fungus or growth. Any botanists on the channel? And I have it growing on all of them too. At least these back here. Not sure what it is though. Okay, so we just loaded the Mini X on the Gooseneck trailer. This thing weighs almost 11,000 pounds, the way it sits right now. But a lot of folks want to know how the truck sits with the uh, Gooseneck trailer connected to it and the excavator on. This is typically about where I put it. I could put it further towards the uh, front of the trailer, but all I'm doing is adding a lot more weight, and this is kind of centered right where I want it. I tell most people you want the majority of your weight right in this area of the trailer. That way you're transferring the right amount to the truck. But this is how the truck and trailer sits whenever they're uh, completely hooked up together. Very, very cool. 
but yeah this is a not so mini excavator it's you know probably i'd probably say about fourth from the bottom in terms of weight that a john deere makes they make like a 15g a 17g and a 20 and they make a bunch of different models that are smaller than this this is right at the larger size of the compact excavator that they make they have a 60g and an 80g and in the past i think they had like a 70 as well but it's a pretty good size unit definitely a more than enough for what I need, but definitely want to show you guys a picture of how this setup looks when it's all connected. If you guys want to know the uh, the margins you have to deal with here, this is how large this Mini X is, that there is less than an inch clearance between the track and the fender here, maybe an inch and a half for the blade, and then on this side, maybe a quarter inch clearance between the blade and the fender, and even less than that, or about the same for the tire too. So this mini excavator squeezes right onto this trailer, but just barely. You know, when we did the first video with the Kubota, uh, the excavator that we loaded on the back, even though it didn't look like it was much smaller than this, it was significantly smaller because there was probably six to eight inches worth of clearance on each side between the fenders. And even when we loaded that, uh, that really large skid steer, there was still more clearance. Okay, so we have the excavator off of the trailer. Um, the reality is I don't, I don't haul it around a lot. I usually just keep it out here and use it out here because there's really no need for me to take it anywhere because I don't use it as a contractor. I'm just a homeowner with a mini excavator. But now we're on the deck of the trailer. This thing has been one really awesome trailer. We took some time cleaning the trailer off because we had some uh, strong winds that came through for a while while it was parked back there and it covered the uh the trailer with all sorts of brush and debris and stuff but the project real quick today to kind of wrap things up is to kind of crush this stuff down and put some of it in the back of the trailer because we trimmed a big live oak tree over there we took off a lot of the bottom sections of it that were reaching down to the ground and we loaded up the uh, dump trailer with it so now we're just gonna put the rest of it in crush it down and uh talk while we're doing it Yep, I do have an alarm with engine kill on the Mini X. Okay, it's a little cool outside since the uh, first half of this video. So I'm going to get things started up. Let's try to crush this down a little bit. Anyways guys, um, I've pretty much done what I tried to do here and that was to uh, to get all this lowered down. Right in the middle here, I can't really go any lower because again, there's a giant there's a giant tree trunk there so you can see what happens. It's actually a root ball. I ended up lifting up the whole excavator. But yeah, this is a uh, definitely a great use of an excavator is to be able to crush stuff in your dump trailer so you can fit more stuff. Uh, by doing this, it essentially eliminates as many trips to the dumpster or wherever I take this stuff, and I don't end up having to uh, make trips as often as I would have in the past. Um, by getting the excavator, honestly, I only probably have to make a trip to the dumpster every maybe once a month, once or twice a month versus several times a week. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Just wanted to show the excavator getting on the trailer, how that works and how that looks, while at the same time using the Mini X here at the property for a little bit. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel. Please leave those comments on both channels. That's where I uh, that's where I get those questions that I'm trying to answer on this channel. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.